Jerry 501 I'm in the Fukushima diary. I'm going to go through uh, some dates here regarding uh, Mochizuki's trial and tribulations and what he's been going through. And this first one is an email begging for help to Kimberly Clark Healthcare. And he's um, asking for help for the children at the local school that are playing soccer and there's two microsieverts an hour there. Uh, they are aware of the risk of living in the area but for, for financial reasons they cannot evacuate. And then the escape plan, 11-12. This is actually dated November 14th. I haven't trusted the government since I was born but I totally quit listening to them in the evening of 311. I knew Reactor 3 had a nuclear explosion, not a hydrogen explosion on 425. I still can't find a word to express my feeling. It tasted like the mixture of grief, desperation, and rage. Alice in Wonderland, November 15th. Today I appeared to somewhere official. Four men interrogated me. They wanted to make up a story that I was an international criminal or something. It was a strange spectacle. They tried to make me state I was involved in an international money laundering, though I only bought an A-bike on eBay. <clears throat> and I explained <sighs> and I explained how risky the internal exposure of tritium is. I told them to evacuate too, but they were too busy at suspecting me. Makes me feel like I'm Alice in Wonderland. Nobody seems to care about radiation around in Tokyo. Once you mention radiation, they'd call you an ambulance. Anyway, the result of today's inter interrogation is supposed to come out around on the 25th. If it's not friendly enough, I might need to emigrate to North Korea by boat. It is the safest country because there is nothing to eat no risk of internal exposure. My diary is stopped. Miss Noro, the organizer of Bridge to Chernobyl, said adults get used to radiation. That is the problem. Huge problem will attack you later. I mustn't stop walking on down. Now my turtles, who have been with me for 19 years, are sleeping with white eyelids. They don't know anything. They don't know they'll be left in Japan. Who are they? I posted I'm under surveillance. There are two groups that are chasing after me, power and fraud. No wonder. Power wants me to vanish. On the other hand, fraud wants this blog because now somewhat influential. They are trying to approach me with sweet words. Power uses low-class people to interrogate me. Actually, they don't know anything about me, so they make up a fiction about me with their limited knowledge. There is someone behind them. The someone has already gotten a conclusion. Whatever I say, they'll make some fake evidence to disappear me. The worst scenario is for me to be banned to enter a country when I get out of here. It means I'll be sent back to here, and I can't get out of here for five years at least, being contaminated and jobless. I'm preparing for that case. I couldn't be too careful. After I restore my energy at point B, I'd like to go to Romania or Poland or Hungary because it's cheap. I think I can get a long stay visa if I have a certain sum of money there. In most of the first world countries, I need to have about 3 million yen at a bank account. I suppose it's cheaper in those countries. I wonder if any of the readers are familiar to the issue. Hmm. interesting. I will reply to you all tomorrow. Being exposed to bad news around the clock is not good for mental health. I was exhausted and tried to sleep about two hours, but I couldn't help posting. What keeps me going on is the sense of justice and the wishful thought. 
that I might become successful by helping save lives. Escape Plan 11 19 2011. Just going to this one. Oh, this is where he had some shills coming down on him, disrespecting him. And I think I already read this in one of my videos. He um, tracked him, and both of them are from the same IP address. And this poor man's just going through hell. Putting out a little bit of truth, and this is what you get. My birthday is going to end November 21st, 2011. It's getting closer when I can go to point B. Luckily, I managed to find a good foster parent of my turtles, and I will let them take over the boys this weekend. Having said I'm going, I cannot speak ill of people to stay. If the foster parents decide to move, my turtles will be left. I really hope nothing bad would happen to any of them. I decided to abandon my family members. I gave up convincing them, so my going means the end of the family. Still better than dying. I wanted to post more articles today, but I ran out of time again. I received some questions. Why don't I go to South Japan or, or Okinawa? There is no safe place in Japan. Okinawa is relatively safe, but radioactive debris and contaminated food are distributed. Plus, it's hard to measure alpha ray and neutron ray. I know Eastern Europe and some places of Europe are contaminated, but I believe it's still better than Japan. Are there other people evacuating from Tokyo? Yes, there are. I went to my doctor yesterday, but my regular doctor evacuated. He was the vice president of the hospital. I'm involved in the real estate industry. People used to sell property to pay succession tax, but recently our clients are 40s to 50s. They sell their property and move to somewhere. They are too young to retire, but too old to inherit. The family who I met last week had 50 million to 70 million yen of real estate property, and they built their house only three years ago, but they sold it and are going somewhere. We're not supposed to ask where they are going. As you know, famous people are moving out of Japan as well. They move to far islands or move to America or Canada. Hmm. Japan Syndrome, November 25th, 2011. I took them down. I had the second round fight with the power. They underestimated me. They didn't think I'd study legal issues since our last fight. Their formula was full of flaw. They took it back. They will come back next week, but it will be better for me to, uh, to, to treat with. Hmm, I don't know what that means, but it would be better for me to treat with. It's tiring to deal with people who keep hiding their heads in the sand. I'm planning to cause a mess with my family on Monday. Whatever they say, I will go. I'm an amateur. I'm not meant to talk like an expert. But the concrete fact is Belarus and Ukraine are still suffering from radiation. What's more, four reactors had explosions, and at least three of them are having melt-through. I think that's all enough to move. In Ukraine, nothing happened in the first year. In the second year, nothing happened again. People started coming back and restarted their normal life. In the third year, children started having thyroid cancer. In fourth year, adults started dying of cancer and heart attacks. In the fifth year, people started panicking and everything fell into pieces. I can't understand why it's so difficult for some people to imagine what is going to happen in a few years. There are people to say they don't escape because they have a dream to realize in Japan. Don't be stupid. Why don't you tell honestly? I can't be bothered to move and change my jobs. Something bad may happen to me in the future, but now I'm still okay. Let's open a beer and watch TV. I'm secretly scared to death, 
So once you talk about radiation in my presence, I get freaked out. This is the Japan Syndrome. You were fed up with your life. You escaped to your fantasy world of movie, gadget, Mac, or iPad. And now that you must face the true risk, you turn to be a patriotic soldier to dedicate your life to your daily mission. Come on. You just can't be bothered to move. Hmm. Boy, that sounds pretty familiar. And then this is the last one. Dated November 27th, 2011. I quit. During this weekend, most of the things were arranged for my moving to point B. Funny thing is, even my friends out of Japan miss me. We are in different countries from the first place. Got tickets, canceled my apartment, left my turtle boys at my trustworthy friend's place. Now only minor things are left, like canceling gas, water, and electricity. This is important. And one and a half hour ago, I told them that I quit my job. I'll have to work here for coming weeks, but anyway, I'll quit. Last weekend, my tummy reached to a kind of limit. I was terribly sick, so I changed water. It's expensive, but I started using imported bottled water for cooking and drinking. I was using tap water for cooking and drinking Japanese bottled water. Believe it or not, I feel so much better. That was definitely the water. As long as I'm in Japan, I still have to eat out, like rice balls or bread from convenience stores. You can't eat only selected food all the time, and the problem is the plume. They started burning radioactive debris around in Tokyo. Sometimes radiation level spikes up since this weekend. If the background radiation of your place is 0 0.5 microsieverts an hour and it's stable, it's okay. It's mostly from radium or the sun, but if the background radiation of your place is 0 0.02 microsieverts and it goes to 0 0.1, sometimes it's the plume. The radiometer caught 0 0.08 microsieverts emit from radioactive plume and it jumps into your lungs and causes severe internal exposure. Almost most of the Geiger counter catches only gamma ray behind the 0 0.08 microsieverts. You should think Beta, ray, alpha ray, and maybe neutron ray are there too. So whatever they say, I'll go to protect myself. You take care too. Man. <sighs> wow. Well, this is just one man's story. So, <clears throat> and this is what we all have to look forward to because this is not over this is far from over this is still melting down we still have plumes coming over the United States in various areas and the reason is is because of the way that the rain is falling the way that the the air is flowing the jet streams are going but I'll tell you right now this man is my hero he gives me strength. He gives me hope. And so do a lot of people here on YouTube. I'm not discounting all the support that we all give each other here. So with that, I'm going to say God bless. And I'm going to go down to the bottom of the page and leave this man blessings for wherever he moves to. Must Can you imagine just leaving your family? getting up and leaving your family and your pets and everything. Wow. Alrighty. God bless.